Legends have officially dropped in college football 25. So this first wave of legends has an 86 overall limited legends, Randy Moss, who played at Marshall. This is probably the second best wide receiver in the game. Luther Burden is still unbelievably good, but Randy Moss is 6'4", so. There's one more limited, and this is my personal favorite. There's a Revis Island Pit, 86 overall corner, 85 speed, 86 excel, six foot. So either of the limiteds are absolute monsters. On top of this, EA decided to just casually drop the best card in the game, a 90 overall Tim Tebow. Get in there nice and deep, lad. But keep in mind, this card right now is virtually impossible to get. To complete Tim Tebow's set, you would need 15 Season 1 Legends Champion players. 15. Marshall Falk is an example of one of those players. He's about 200k. So if you want Tim Tebow, you would need about 3 million coins right now. It's not impossible, but Mommy's credit card would be hurting. Now I do plan to get my hands on Tim Tebow, but for now, I wanna open every single Legends pack that is available and see what players we can get our hands on. There's also a Booger McFarland. There's Marshall Falk. Ray Lewis would be sick. There's a Brian Erlacher and Pat White. Pat White, an 85 speed lefty quarterback. This is like Mike Vick until we get Mike Vick. I am a racist. First up, I'm going for the big boy. There's a Legends bundle. You're limited to one of these per account. You get five Legends packs, 480 plus Legends, and 382 plus. Our odds of getting a limited are honestly really low. And this whole year, I've pulled one limited. That was Ollie Gordon. So if we want to see Darrell Revis or Randy Moss today, I would not be upset. Our first legend is 80 overall Marshall Folk. And our second is Brian Erlacher. Dropping Erlacher and Ray Lewis at the same time is honestly a shock. But there's some really good middle linebackers in the game now. Two Brian Erlackers. There's Pat White and Ray Lewis. Erlacher and Booger. <laughs> but it just feels so weird saying that word unironically. 83 Marshall Falk. That's a really good pull. That's going to be worth a good amount. I'm interested. What are these 83s going for right now? About 50K. I'm inching my way towards Tim Tebow. Here's one of the 80 plus toppers. 80 Ray Lewis. Now this pack animation is kind of the same one that we've been seeing before. So if we do get a really good pull, we'll know. And sadly, I know right now that we're not getting them. Legends 80 plus, 80 Pat White. Now we're on to the 82 pluses. I feel like if anything was gonna be my limited, it was gonna be one of these. That's an 82, 82 Ray Lewis. This is our, no, we do have one more of these. This is our second to last right here. Damn. I've been loving college football, but I have not been impressed with the packs. I won't lie to you boys. That was all 82s and all 80s prior to that. That's just sad. Now, the only thing left for us is the Legends Premium Pack. You get two 80 pluses and one 82 plus, 4% chance at 85 plus. I don't like those odds at all. Booger McFarland, Brian Erlach, or Pat White. I'm gonna cry. 83 Marshall Folk. All right, that's at least good coins. We'll always take that. Pat White and our final player. Pat White again. Packs have not been friendly. There is a Legends training pack though, which is a good way to convert your training into coins if you're looking to do that. Because even these 80s have a decent value because a lot of people are trying to build Tebow right now. So at the worst case scenario, every 275 training is about 10,000 coins. And potentially you could get lucky and pull something nice here. I would love to see rerolls make a comeback. And at this price, they technically are. You can pull limiteds in these training packs. So like Randy Moss and Darrell Rivas are technically pullable here. It would just be one hell of a pull. But there's an 81, so that's gonna be really good. Well, it's hardly more expensive. This will be our final Legends training pack right here. So the last player, we end on. Give me Ray, give me Ray. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to be Ray Lewis. Now I'm not gonna lie, my team's already stacked, but I really wanna try out this Randy Moss. I think I have just enough coins. I'm gonna be big time brokey after this, but oh my God, I quite literally have just enough. I have 941 coins left. I just drained my balls. I just drained my bank account for 86 Randy Moss. Damn, that is a beautiful looking card. It reminds me so much of a vintage trading card. That's so sick. I'm gonna give him jackpot because that's like, that's a very Randy Moss ability. Improved ability to win jump balls deep downfield. It's the only way you can use Randy Moss, right? I'm also gonna give him a layout for improved ability to secure diving catches. This dude's gonna be an absolute monster. I cannot wait to use this Randy Moss. I'm also pretty close to an 85 Legends champion. And with sets, I can get an 83 overall here. I might have enough for an 85. Now that is the good news. Even when your packs are like really dog water like they were today, 
You can always just exchange them in the sets up to get the set legends. So at least there were some options for us, but I was really hoping that packs would have been better in College Football 25. And so far, they're nothing spectacular. We do get one random 85 though. I think best case scenario would be Ray Lewis. I would love Ray Lewis. Brian Urlacher would be nice too. Worst case scenario is Pat White. Cause I already got Mariota. We get 185 overall legends champion right here. Big animation, big animation. Okay, okay, okay. He wasn't on my list, but it's not Pat White. But it, you know what? He might end up being just such a dominant threat. He's pretty slow, understandably. He's got 86 blocks, shed 85 power moves. Booger McFarland. And I could technically put abilities on him too. <laughs> I can't believe it. And just like that, we're one of 15 on Tim Tebow. All right, I'm gonna throw in our best possible lineup. Now that moves Randy Moss to wide receiver one and Mike Evans to wide receiver two. Mariota and Randy Moss with my abilities on offense and then on defense. Erlacher is now in. Booger McFarland is now in, and my linebacker's looking nasty on this team. All right, boys, let's go see what Randy Moss is made of. Also, a huge shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video. SeatGeek is the best place in the world to buy tickets for anything. They take tickets from all around the web and put them right on the SeatGeek app to make buying simple. So for this upcoming college season, NFL season, NBA season, anything that you need a ticket for, I will certainly be getting my tickets on the SeatGeek app. And my favorite feature is their price indicators. Look for the green dots around your stadium or venue. Those are the best price tickets and the red ones are not so great. So stay away from those. Also, I can get you a discount. If you use code MMG, you'll get $20 off your first order at SeatGeek. There's a link in the top of the description to download. Don't forget that promo code MMG for $20 off and enjoy the rest of the video. His top three, Will Howard. Shot Owens. Okay, he's actually got a squad. Rocking the Air Force jerseys. Taking on the Spartans in Spartan Stadium. He's got an 81 overall. We've got an 83 overall. Keep in mind, offense and defense wow, are still bugged squad, as I'm recording bro. this, which is super annoying, but that's okay. First and 10. He throws middle. Oh, shit. Hello. I'm a casual. I'm such a casual. Dog. All right, well, not our best first defensive play. He's going to go with a handoff, cut it back, and he's going nowhere. That's the kind of defense we need. Look at Randy Moss's like little face scan. <laughs> that is not Randy Moss. All right, second and 11, I'm on Daylon Everett, my favorite defensive player. Honestly, dude, this guy is just a, it's just a hawk. Oh, where are you? I saw three Spartan uniforms. I couldn't even see his uniform. What on earth are those two doing? They don't make interceptions any easier. I'm blitzing Kendricks and I'm coming over with Daylon. I think it's gonna be, oh, it's not. Okay, but we're on it. That's how you stop the screens, boys. Fourth and four. This is a big play right here. He's going to go for it. This is a big play right here. And he's not going to get it off. Nice play game. Does he kick the field goal now? Because now it's fourth and eight. Fourth and nine. I'm pulling off the running back. Oh, no. I just got Bye, torched. Stop! <laughs> and, then he, and then he gets dragged into the end zone. Get the fuck out of here, bitch! I'm not even gonna lie, it kinda looks like Randy Moss could just literally just fly past him. Wait, he pressed? You pressed Randy Moss? What is wrong with- <gasps> Randy! That's crazy. I cannot believe he just dropped that. Now it won't let me audible. We're just gonna be patient here and hit the user playmaker. Mitch Evans, Notre Dame, nice work. Just kidding, that was Tate McCree. Luke McCree, Tate McCray. I have Alzheimer's. It doesn't matter. Let's go get a tutty. Uh-oh. Damn. Ooh, Ollie Gordon in behind. That's been did nothing. This was a touchdown regardless. Ollie Gordon, I need you, buddy. I'm not even gonna lie, Randy Moss kind of sold, bro. He had him beat. That should've been a catch. Luckily, came up with a big touch in there, Ollie Gordon. Let's see if we can get this two-point conversion. Patience, Mariota. Patience, Mariota! Great work all line. That's why we got Mari Goda, baby. One of the greatest college football players of all time. All right, I'm on Brian Erlacher here. He's gonna take the check down. Does he juke? He sure does! Oh! What? Okay, I predicted the juke and got him to cough it up, but what happened to that ball? Dog, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what just happened. Straight up. It kind of looked like his like O-lineman bobbled it. Hey, we got rewarded for guessing that juke though, so that's huge. 
And here's Randy Moss gonna clear. I just gotta get him the ball. Dog, I need a different formation. I need Randy closer to me. He's over on an island over there and they're playing safety high. Do I have something with, oh, this playbook doesn't have shit. I don't even know if this route is possible, but I really wanna hit Randy Moss on this like corner strike here. Oh my God, it's actually, maybe? Stay in front, Randy, hey! <laughs> there we go, Randy Moss. If this is man coverage, this is a touchdown. There is no way that man guards Randy Moss on the boundary. Nope. There's just no way you're guarding that. <laughs> Randy Moss single coverage on the goal line. That is a bold move. We could take a really commanding lead with this. I'm going inside Veer triple option. One of my favorite plays in this game, dude. I fucking love this play. Gotta keep the ball, get the pitch off. It certainly helps that you can pitch out of very like glitchy scenarios. I was fully wrapped up there and I just threw a textbook pitch. That's a nine point lead though. That's huge. He's gonna need two possessions if he wants to take this lead. Okay, I am getting fried by that corner out over there though. Rashad Owens having a day. I'm gonna drop Erlacher into that spot. I can't let him keep doing that. This should be easy enough to stop. All right, we're getting risky here. I'm going nickel overload blitz, and I'm going to manual blitz with Dalen Everett. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Full speed ahead. That was nasty. You can't blitz any faster than that. Look at that. Screamer. I'm telling you, dude, Dalen Everett is just like a core. I think he's a core Georgia corner. Dude, is nasty stop, bro. Cole is getting his shit worked over there. Same route every time. I honestly think the overload blitz is the... Wait a minute. No, you're not doing this bullshit again. He's going to try and throw it again. Why can't I switch stick? By the way... That's just so... I tried to switch stick up to it. It wasn't working. Then he breaks two tackles in the same fashion. Dude, I think I got to get Cole off this lineup. I don't know who Cole is, but that dude is getting his shit worked. Touchdown, Randy Moss. That's a blown coverage. He's in press, cover three, and nobody can keep up with Randy Moss. Now I just gotta find a way to stop Rashad Owens, dude. I'm gonna extend this lead to 10 points with inside Veer triple option. It's just, that's just beautiful football. It's just beautiful football. Took us exactly four seconds to score there. All right, I would, I honestly would be, I would love to see him try that again. If I have a cover two man, we're just gonna run base cover two man, and I'm on Marcus Sigil, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna bait this and lurk it. Oh, he's not running it. Hey, send the DB. Nice work. Second and seven. He can't throw it anymore. He's gonna come out and gun slot offset, and he's gonna try and throw it, and I'm gonna pick that shit off. Gun slot offset. Oh, there it is. Give me switch stick, please. Oh, he threw it to the other side. Damn, is that really that OP? Maybe I just need a better defense for it. Let's try cover two hard flats. I feel like hard flats should stop this. He's got 18 seconds here. He's running the exact same thing. Hard flats don't stop it. Yeah, I don't actually know how to stop this. I'm gonna be totally honest. All right, so I've got a purple on the right side that should technically defend that. And then I'm gonna manually defend this one. Throw it. Yeah! That time it was bad. Good defense. I think he's gonna try the same thing. I want him to think I'm on Kobe here. I'm gonna go on Frenchie. Bagged. Fucking bagged! Come on, baby! Run it one more time! Let's go! That was beautiful defense. I'll send Randy across the middle here. I'm gonna take the easy one. Mitch Evans, Notre Dame. The spin is not built the same for everyone, if you can't tell. Do I have Wildcat? No. You know what's fun? You know, I'm gonna hit him with something different. He's seen midline triple so much. I think if we ran something different, it would just confuse the shit out of him. We're gonna go rocket toss. This play is gnarly. Second and inches rocket toss. Ooh. Didn't get a block, didn't matter. Ollie Gordon's still gonna take this for 10 yards. Dude, when somebody efficiently runs flexbone against you, you're in hell. I'm gonna hit him with flexbone, play action here, and I assume he's gonna bite. Well, he kind of did. He's not switching on anymore. <laughs> Yo, boys, guess who I got a DM from, by the way? 
Number four right there, Tarion Stewart on the left side. If you guys watch my second channel, Tarion Stewart is Bowling Green's starting running back and he tore his ACL. That's the only reason I was able to start. And he DM'd me. I told him thank you for allowing me some reps. He said, I got you, bro. It was an elite moment in MMG history. All right, second and three, he's getting torn up by the flex bone right now. Now we switch to a pass from the same formation. I think Randy Moss is a touchdown. It depends what that safety does. I really could have just, I could have just tested Randy Moss there, but I don't think it's worth it. We have the lead. This is a really cool play too. It's, I don't know how you would describe this, but we're gonna give it a go here as the ref is right in the middle of the play. Oh God, that's a, just. And it's Tarion Stewart too, baby. Bowling Green legend, Tarion Stewart. In the Heisman. First and 10, different routes this time. That's a, maybe not a sketchy ball. But guess who came through? Daylon Everett, Georgia. I have no idea why Daylon Everett emerged as like my favorite defensive player, but he just is the most consistent player on this defense. He just is. He's that guy, oh, it's corner routes again. Oh, kind of bagged it that time. He still caught it, that's insane. But what defense was I just in? I was just in four, three press quarters. Okay, so four, three press quarters will hold that route relatively well. He's gonna try it on the right side now. Frenchie, let's lurk him again. Do it, do it. Shit, don't do it. That's so crazy that I asked him to do it. This guy has one play and damn it, it's working. The good news is we are absolutely electric on two point conversions. We have eight points off of two point conversions. So we're gonna do that same motion with Terry and Stewart, but it's a fake this time. And we're back to speed option. Ooh. Eighty-seven. You are fired. He is standing up. Did you not realize there was a fumble? I have the opportunity to lose this game. Come on, throw your fucking corner out. Fight, bitch. Let's go, Frenchie. He's trying to get in my ass. Frenchie's got two of them now. Mount Margiela, you're gonna need a new play, my friend. I got this one bad. That was a huge interception. It was about to be a very close ball game. All right, I'm getting a little too fancy with my play calling. We just need the clock to run here. Pistol train halfback stretch. Ali Gordon made that four yards, not work. This could very well be a touchdown. I think this is a touchdown. No. Wow, those block sheds were insane. I'm throwing a lot of runs at him. I think play action might actually be pretty elite here. Third and seven. Play action. There's Randy Moss clearing in the middle. Can we make a crazy play? Randy! <laughs> That's ball game. No, let me see the stats. Let me get to the stats. <laughs> Shit! Well, we can sort of see the stats. No, and then it died. Uh, it was an awesome game. Randy Moss, I think, had two touchdowns. Right there, he would have gotten over 100 yards. That was an awesome game. And honestly, my opponent's offense was tough. I was struggling with that. That could have been a really good game. But a few big plays differentiated. We had those two interceptions with Frenchie, and we coughed up a big fumble. And I'm excited for the Legends promo. I'll do everything I can to get my hands on that Tebow. But damn, that boy's expensive. Hey, well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching, as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!